guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Vanessa if you're new, and if you're not new, of course, welcome back. You already know that I'm Vanessa. But today's video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be all about how I picked what college I'm going to, what college I'm going to, and all of that. So I'm just going to tell you right off the bat, you can see by the shirt, you probably already know, but I'm going to Central Washington University, and I'm super duper excited to be going to Central. I fell in love with the school, so I'm going to tell you guys a little bit of how I picked the school, why I picked the school, and all of that, but I just wanted to like, not like keep a secret and be like, oh, like covering up my shirt, like, I just want to tell you guys right off the bat, I'm going to Central Washington University. So I think what's really important when you're picking your college or picking what college you want to go to is location, and I wanted to go, I had two options, I wanted to stay in state or go out of state, so I picked three schools in state, and I think two schools out of state. So the two schools out of state were the University of Utah. My uncle teaches there, he's a professor, and then my cousins went there. Um, I think, I don't know if all three of them did, I think at least one of them did, I'm not really sure. But it's super close, the campus is super close to my aunt's house. So um, yeah, I don't know, the University of Utah was something that I was looking into. I thought it was a really cool campus. I went there to a couple of volleyball camps. Um, their coaches were really cool. That was back when I still wanted to play volleyball in college. I still went now, but that was when it was like, that's what I'm doing. So it was really cool to like go there, and I really liked the campus, and I had family close, so why not? So that was one of my options. The University of Idaho was something I looked into. Um, I found out more about the University of Idaho going into my senior year, and I really liked it. I just really liked everything about it. I don't really know. I just had a feeling about it that a good, really, really good feeling about it. And so the University of Idaho was my second pick out of state. Actually, they were like, the Idaho probably was my first pick. And then Utah was probably my second. I don't know. I didn't really rank those two. But those are the two out of state I was looking at. And then in state, as in Washington State, I was looking at Washington State University, other known as WSU, the Cougs. I was looking at Eastern Washington University, other known as just like Eastern, which is the Eagles or the Falcons. I don't know what they are. The Hawks? They're a bird. I don't know what bird, but I know it's a bird. So, you know. And then, of course, Central Washington University was some place I was looking at as well as my third school that I was looking at. And then if you want to put it on fourth, we can put it on fourth. I was also looking at Wacom Community College. Also, I was kind of looking to schedule it a little bit, but Wacom Community College was the one that I was like, if if I don't get in, we're going to Wacom. So, which I would have been actually really cool and down to go to because I would have played volleyball if I went, but that's later on. After I had those kind of schools in mind my junior year, I, I want to say it was spring break of my junior year, of high school, I went and toured Eastern Washington University and Central Washington University. I've already been to Wazoo multiple times for like volleyball camp, and my coach went there, so she's like give us giving us like tours and like told us insight. Plus, I've been there so many times that I've just kind of like felt the campus out. Um, I knew it was someplace I would actually like. I really wanted to do um, sorority, like Greek life. So if I had went there, I would have been doing Greek life. And that's something that I really sold me on Washington State, which I really, really liked. And I thought it would be really fun and good for me to join a sorority and be a part of that. And I thought it would be something for me to do since I wasn't playing volleyball anymore. So it's really good to think about, like, what you're doing now might not be what you're doing in college. So, like, if you're playing sports, that might not be happening. So you need to figure out something that's going to keep you busy. I'm someone that likes to be involved in multiple different things. So in high school, I was in volleyball, leadership, and DECA, and I honestly wish I did more, but yeah, I don't know. So those are the things that I just was always thinking about, like, what am I going to be doing here? Like, what is there to do? So that's what I liked about there, and I really like their, like, campus. Their campus is really nice, and they have, like, heated sidewalks, so you can, like, go to class and not, like, slip around and stuff. And then I went to Eastern for a tour. I did not like the town Cheney. Cheney is, there's not much there. It's a little bit of a rundown town, sad to say. I feel like it could be a really, really, really cool college town. Um, but it, I don't know, the campus is gorgeous in Cheney though. The actual like Eastern campus is super nice, super pretty. I have a couple friends going there who I think are going to fit right in. I think they're going to have so much fun. It's just I didn't feel like that was where I was supposed to be, so I'm not going there. I think 
one of the best things you can do is go visit the campus and just like really feel if that's where you're supposed to be, if that's where you think you're supposed to be, and that will tell you a lot about just a tour. And so going there and taking a tour and not really like feeling like I was supposed to be there was like a big thing for me. So be so Eastern was out. It was a very pretty campus. I actually really, really, really like the campus. I didn't like the town. Gonzaga is super close. Um, oh, since Gonzaga is also so close, that also means Spokane. Gonzaga is in Spokane. Um, it's super duper close, so there's a lot of fun and cool things to do in Spokane. But that didn't sell me enough to go there. Cause like driving to Spokane every day to do something cool, it's like a 45 minute drive, I think. I mean. I would do that, but like to do that every day just to have a fun time, like it wasn't worth it to me. So then I actually hit up Central Washington University on my way home from touring Eastern and I loved it. I've been to Central a couple times. I've only been to like a little part of the campus for like volleyball because I've been there for volleyball tournaments. I've always really liked the gym and just like that area, but I never have been into like, I've never been on the actual like campus grounds. Um, I don't really know why, just you're at a tournament, you're there for the tournament, so yeah. So when I went there and toured my junior year, I fell in love with it. My mom fell in love with it. I went my mom, my dad stayed home that weekend. My dad's actually never been to Central. We're going out there, we're going out there for orientation. So it'll be my dad's first time on the campus, and so I'm really excited for him to see it. But yeah, so my mom and I went out, um, I took a tour, we took a tour, loved it. I fell in love with it, I fell in love. I don't know, I don't know why I fell in love with the place, I just felt that's where I was supposed to be and I just felt good about it and that's a lot for me because I'm very like indecisive I feel, but ever since I went on that tour I have known I was going to go there, I was like I'm going here mom, I'm going to Central Washington and I don't even call, it's like weird to say like Central Washington, Eastern Washington, like I just say central. So it's like really weird to be saying like I'm going to central like next year mom. I'm like that's the goal. Like, I'm going to do it. So after you tour everything and you kind of just from there I would say rank where you like the best and then really go for those applications. So this is where I want you to listen and learn from my mistakes. I only applied to one school. Can you guess what school I only applied to? I only applied to one school. I started multiple applications. I started the University of Idaho um, one. I was that one is very long and tedious, by the way. It's very long and tedious. But I started filling that one out. I actually had the most fun filling that one out because it was a lot of like talking about yourself questions. I was like, oh, I can talk about myself. So that one I actually had a lot of fun, but I never like finished it because it was just like tedious and. Um, the Washington State University I applied but then they sent me saying that I didn't finish applying and like all this stuff and by that time I was already committed and I was accepted and committed into Central so I was like I'm not going to worry about it. So because of that I technically only applied to one school and I technically or I did only get into one school and so lucky for me it was the school my first pick my dream school. Um, which is kind of weird to say because I never thought my dream school would still be in Washington. I would really, really, really make sure you have a backup plan. My, technically, my backup plan would be going to, like I said, Wacom Community College and playing volleyball there. They have a really strong team this year. I've played with a lot of the girls, like half of them, like five or six of them, I want to say, throughout the years, and they have a really good team this year, and if I was staying here, hands down, I would be committed to that team because it... It's a good team, they have a strong coach, and I just think it'd be a really cool place to be, and it'd be something for me to do, but I decided to go to a four-year university, so the other community college I was debating about going to, didn't really know if I was going to play for, was Skagit Community College, and Skagit Community College is about 45 minutes to an hour away from my house, and why I was looking at that community college versus Wacom, which is like... 10 minutes away, 10, 15 minutes away from my house is because it was that longer distance so I wouldn't be living at home. I would have an apartment, have roommates, all that so I'd still have a college experience but like it would be two years, something like that like and not as big as a, not as big of a commitment of a four year 
but I wouldn't be living in my room right now, which honestly, I'm really upset about living in this room. So that's something I was really debating why Skagit versus Wacom, because, or Skagit versus Wacom, because Skagit, I would be away from home, I wouldn't be living at home, and I would, in a way, kind of get more of that college freshman year feel than going to Wacom and living at home, which... For a long time, I was like, I don't want to go walk them. I don't want to go to community college. I don't want to do that. That's not what I want to do. And, I mean, right now, no, that's not what I want to do. I want to go to a four-year. But with going to a community college, there are, like, perks and ups to it. Um, I went, I was really set, obviously, on Central. I went to an open gym with one of my friends who's playing for Wacom, and she's like, come, come, like, just come. And I was like, okay, like, yeah, I'll come play volleyball. Like, I'm not committing to anything. I'm just going to go play. I had so much fun. The game, the pace was so much faster than high school by a hundred and it was like, and I, to me like community college I feel is like the next step from like varsity high school like kind of thing. D1 is a huge leap where I feel like community college is like the next step to like grow up to like bigger and better things. Um, no, I was wrong. It was a huge jump. It was a lot of fun and they almost got me. Like I, they were talking to me and I was like shoot like it wouldn't be bad staying here. So just like, I don't know, really be aware of what your options are everywhere. Even if you were just like, nope, I don't want to go to community college or nope, I don't want to go to university. See what that community college or that university has to offer. Like it might be something that is really something that you, you know, are into or want to stay for. I think if Wacom's team was down in Skagit and they had the same coaches, I may have gone down there because it was just... I just need to be a little farther away from home because I really am just at that point in life where I want to start doing my own thing. But yeah, so, when you oh, I didn't even touch about what I'm going to be doing at Central. I know this is kind of like scatterbrain. I have no notes. I'm just like talking. But I'm going to be joining, hopefully, their leadership club, like team. And then I don't really know if they go by a club or a team. And then I'm going to be hopefully joining DECA out at college. Those are two things I want to do, but also like YouTube is something I want to really do while I'm at college, in college, all that. I want to start doing college vlogs. That's something that's been running through my mind a little bit because two of my favorite college vloggers just graduated and I've been really into watching their vlogs and I'm still watching their vlogs just because they're not in college and it doesn't mean like, I'm not going to watch you anymore. No, I'm still definitely watching them. Um, Amber Martin and Jayla Corgan, if you want to know. I'll link both their channels down below. Definitely go check them out. I'm a big fan of both of them. Honestly, they kind of have inspired me to want to college vlog. I think it would be really cool to watch myself grow over the next four years. And, I don't know, college is going to be really hard and stuff. But I really, really, it's something I want to do. Also, I'm going to be working at college. I'm going to go ahead and talk about finance a little bit. Um, I think financial aid and, like, just money and scholarships in general is a big thing, a deciding factor for a lot of people going to college. And I just think that's really frustrating when you feel so good someplace and you feel like you should go there and then money is the reason you can't. So just apply, apply, apply for scholarships. Like, there are so many out there. So, so, so many. I probably should I should have applied to way more than I did. I probably applied to, like, ten um, I should have been applying to, like, 30 to 50. I know some people who apply to, like, any and everything. Anything helps. Any kind of, like, grad money, scholarship money, um, savings. All that stuff helps so much for college because there's so much you don't realize you have to buy. Like, a mattress pad, like, a little foam one, or, like, the one that just goes over. You have to buy, like, new sheets because your bed's not an extra long bed or whatever. There's just so much stuff that you don't really think about. Also, just day-to-day -day living. Day-to-day -day living is something you literally do not think about. You don't think about, like, you may have a meal plan, but what if you want to go, like, get ice cream? What if you have to pay for gas, okay? Like, those are just ice cream and gas. Those, obviously, you guys can tell what I spend my money on. I don't know, you just really don't think about the day-to-day -day or, like, going out and doing things. And so just be aware of that. I'm actually going to be working. Um, I don't know if I'm going to work right when I get to school. I'll probably start working halfway through first semester or second semester. I don't really know yet. I've actually applied to a couple jobs out at my college already. There's one I really want. I'm not going to say it because then everyone's going to go apply. So you have to wait and see. I'm really excited for college and stuff. So just I want to be able to work and go to school. And that's my choice. My parents are like, you have to get a job. Um, they said it would be nice if I did. But it's something that I just want to do. I think it's a good 
way to stay busy and be busy so I've already applied and I think you guys should too look into like definitely look into what it takes to apply early and stuff like that for jobs so definitely do that also this is kind of a random side note but like things like laundry like you have to pay for your laundry it's like three dollars a load or something like in quarters like three dollars to do one load like really be aware of how much things are actually going to cost you're not just paying for like twenty thousand dollars a year or the twenty six thousand or the thirty five thousand dollars a year to go to college but you're paying like for like living and like going to get food every other day when really I don't need to do that when I could be getting food out there every other day or you know something like that so just like I don't know really be aware of like what you're doing how you're spending I need to take my own advice Vanessa listen to yourself right now okay you have good advice the accomplishment you feel you guys once you get something done and once you get in it's so great and I wish I could relive that moment every day. The day I got into college and the day I graduated are generally some of the best days of my life. The best days of senior year probably overall. Like, the, just the accomplishment you feel and like, the weight lifted off your shoulders. Not because it's just like, oh my god, like, I don't know where I'm going to go to school. Like, it's like that, but it's more like for me, it was a lot of like, I don't want to disappoint my parents of not getting in anywhere. Or like, you know, and I had a lot of that of like, Am I even going to get in? Like, and I just want you guys to know, like, if you're filling up applications, just be really, like, honest with what you're filling out. Of course, it is an application, so you are highlighting yourself, and you are trying to present yourself in the best way. You want to show the best of you, and I think that's really important, and I don't think I'm the best to really talk about applications, because I only filled out one. Technically, I filled out three, only sent in one, but that's okay, you know? The location is something really good because the location of where you want to go, like my college is about three hours away from my house. It's probably about four with traffic. So I am I'm far enough away from home where I don't come home for dinner every night, but I'm not too far when it's like when I don't have my life together, I can still run home for the weekend or, you know, for the night or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, I can come home and sleep in my own bed if I really, really need to or something like that. But I'm so, 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 so excited to be going to Central. I don't think anyone really knows how excited I really am. So I'm so, so, so excited to be going to Central Washington. I will be having college videos up. I will be doing a dorm haul, a dorm tour. Any other video requests about college, like, leave it down below. We can talk about it, we can talk about it in the comments, we can talk about it in a video, whatever you guys want to do. Hopefully college vlogs. I do have a vlog channel. I don't know if anyone really knows that, but I have a vlog channel. There's nothing on there, but if you want to go subscribe to it, I think it's going to be something that's going to be more frequent, especially if I start doing college vlogs. It'll be something more on there. Okay guys, so that is all I have to say about college right now. I hope this video helped you guys kind of see what the college senior year experience is like. Not everyone's is full of applications and freaking out and all that. Um, a lot of people just know where they're going, like a community college or just know where they're going to a university. It's really different for everyone, so just keep that in mind. The process is very, very different for everyone. Mine was super, like, chill, I want to say. I want to say it was pretty relaxed. It wasn't like late night, like on the internet, just like cramming stuff in. It wasn't like that. So yeah, I hope you guys like and subscribe. And if you're going to college, leave where you're going to college down below. Or if you think I should be doing college vlogs, let me know. But I hope you guys stick around, and I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye, guys. Because I am a freshman in college.